Hi everyone. Today is Wednesday, April 1st, 2015, and they've come out in the news about Russia saying that they would nuke the Yellowstone volcano to begin World War III, and that they would actually also nuke the San Andreas fault line to destroy the USA. Now, on my channel, we've been showing this for years, that this is actually going exactly by the scripture of the Bible that the New World Order starts with the USA being practically destroyed and the Vatican being hit. The daughter of Babylon is the USA. Mystery Babylon in the Bible that burns with fire is the Vatican. And then the Russian Orthodox Church that is all prepared by the Jesuits and ten nations rise up for the New World Order for 42 months. It's called the Beast Out of the Sea in Revelation 13 right here. Ten nations coming together with the secret government of the USA that they are all working together just as people have seen before that Obama seemed to work right with Putin and was even taking orders from him a few times in meetings that Obama's role is to betray the USA. This is all going by the script of the Bible. It's meant to happen. We are going to show this today. Putin and all of them are part of the Illuminati. Here is the Illuminati box cover. When you read it from right to left, it says, It, Animal, I. This guy is coming. This bull, this clown. The fifth angel with the key to open the abyss. The key to open the abyss will be destroying the USA. He comes down on the red side. Russia, China, North Korea, Britain, all of them rising up to come after the blue side. Remember the USA was the blue, and we fought the redcoats for freedom. They come with idol worship right here, even with Islam and such. And this eagle represents, after the giant cataclysm, the woman of the Bible and the Christians that are the wise virgins going to the wedding feast of the Lamb, as this guy terrorizes the world. It's right here, again, on the cover of The Economist magazine. Here is the woman caught away with an 11.5 earthquake hitting the USA. See the castor oil? Representing the oil for the wise virgins of the Bible to escape from this red side. See Obama betraying the USA, Angela Merkel of Germany, China rising up, Putin, Joko Widodo, all like Napoleon and Genghis Khan. And there's Hillary Clinton and the secret government of the USA right in Putin's ear. The secret government of the USA is planning to betray us all, start FEMA camps and just to destroy our own country, to give all their power unto the beast. See the Pied Piper following, representing everybody following him to death, and it's the new Eucharist that's coming in his right hand, and the left hand, this represents guillotines. The secret government of the USA is doing this. This hangs in the Denver International Airport. Ten horns represent ten nations betraying the USA. You can see a 13 right there. The whale represents the oil and being the three days in the belly going to the wedding feast of the lamb. That's what they killed whales for, was for oil, for your lamps, to light your lamp. This represents the woman of the Bible leaving. See this phoenix? There's Miss Obama dead. There's Obama gone. And this represents the time of the blue ending. See this blue is gone, the Hopi blue Kachina doll, which the Hopi Indians say the USA will be nuked also. And then this guy shows up. He comes through the door of Jesus Christ. We leave. See this little sparrow? We leave. This door is shut. And now the only way into heaven is the guillotines. And he's riding this red bull. See he's inside the cube of the Kaaba? And he's also inside the pyramid. See the pyramid right there? That's There's the butcher coming. See the butchered body parts? Right in front of us, over and over again. Right there. Now God has all this mapped out. On our channel we show the whole earth is as a giant storyboard. God made all the universe. See England even nuked. And then they all rise back up. Prince William has a lot to do with this. They need the chaos to bring the order. It's even on these ancient Egyptian glyphs. Remember from Abraham to Jesus went to Egypt. Moses was taken out from underneath the burdens of Egypt. This is what we're saved from. Here comes that clown. The fifth angel, the king of the Illuminati and the New World Order, with the key to open the abyss, going through Obama, and he will betray the USA and nuke a big part of our own country, and it represents the millstone of Revelation 18 that destroys everything. 
These two domes represent a giant power plant event. The San Onofre power plant that is turned off and is just a big bomb sitting in San Diego near the San Andreas fault line. This is part of the trigger with the heart machine. See the two domes and then the eagle leaving and we pass over the bear. See the bear of Russia rising with the ten nations? All right there. They're even made to worship the image of the beast. All the way over here you can see they're putting a check mark on the guy's head. This is the guy again up here, seen as the false prophet also. In the Bible it says frogs come out of his mouth to go and deceive all of the world. See him right there? We're going to show him right here. This is the Yellowstone Caldera. This shows the grievous head wound event coming, mapped out by God, so there's no way to stop this, guys. It's going to happen. Right here. That's him. You see the nuke? That is the Yellowstone Caldera. It will be nuked. And then the San Andreas fault line will go. And then they also show the New Madrid fault line will go in the center of the USA. And the methane gas down near Louisiana will go. And then they will invade up through the Seattle and Washington area. Because all of this problems, will the wind will carry it from the west to the east. And the invasion will happen up in the northwest. Exactly as scripture shows almost exactly as in Red Dawn, the movie. Here he comes. See him right here? See how he's punching this guy right in the head? And then they start giving out this new Eucharist. See the Pied Piper? See it in his hand? That will turn people into abominations. See it right there? See him coming? The new church. After the Vatican is hit, they rise back up with the Russian Orthodox Church and ten nations and their fake Eucharist all right there. There it is. See him with the Eucharist. See the grievous head wound. See the nuke coming. Prepare your family. Save water. Doesn't stop there. After this the eagle should go, right? I mean this nuke sets off the eagle. See the eagle right there? And for those that don't believe your government is working against you, Hillary Clinton left all those people to die in the Benghazi area, symbolizing this same event coming. You're going to have to realize at some point that nearly everybody that's big time in charge on this planet is, is practically Satan. I don't care how good they look. They are evil to the core. See the eagle leaving by the two domes. This represents the San Andreas fault line going, and this here represents the Yellowstone volcano going. I've been showing this for almost five years, so my channel has proven that nobody is going to do anything, nobody's going to care, nobody's going to run off and leave the USA, very few people are even going to save water, everybody's just going to sit there and wait for this to happen. My channel proves that nobody is going to do anything. Watch today. When you leave this channel and turn this off, will you do anything different? You won't. The best thing for you to do is save some water and come to the Lord Jesus Christ as this all begins. See the two domes? The giant nuclear event and the birth of us. We granted our wings and we leave as this great tribulation comes upon the world. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath risen him from the dead and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. I will leave this article here. It says the same things I've been showing. That after the Yellowstone and the San Andreas fault line go, a tidal wave will hit the USA on the East Coast. The USA is hit so hard, New York and Florida will sink. They say that this tidal wave will go to 1,500 miles inland, nearly a mile high. This is a world-shattering event. And it is natural for all of us on our human bodies just to dumb everything down to nothing and dismiss it. It's natural. It's okay. That's <laughs> Nobody's going to do anything until everything goes boom. But that's what's coming. They're all planning this. Your own government is doing this. See Hillary? All right there. Now this thing has been showing over and over and over again. This German Wings airplane that crashed represent the big, event, big event coming and the crash of everything. The co-pilot who crashed his plane was named Andreas. 
and he was shown right here in front of the Golden Gate Bridge like this represents the Golden Age coming. See how his name is Andreas? For the San Andreas fault line that will go when all this begins. And we all cross the Golden Gate and the Golden Age begins and the New World Order comes upon the world. That clown right there. I will leave a commercial now that will show Russia and this clown rising up. Just like it's, it's like they're making fun of McDonald's but it actually represents this clown and Russia rising up and the people, us, have to run to the hole in the wall and squeeze through to get to the kingdom of God. You need to have your oil. See, that's castor oil, the oil for the wise virgins. Thank you very much, everybody. Hallelujah. This is real and right in front of us. May God have mercy on us all.